Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go ahead and do our roof um, detachment and do a little bit of detailing so that we can actually get our roof to somewhat match the concept. And the easiest way to to go ahead and do this, we're just basically basically going to extract the model, um, extract some of the geometry from the model, and then just uh, add some thickness to it and um, just add a metal part around that as well. Also a rubber grommet so that it looks detailed but it's actually not a hundred percent detailed. Um, and it just takes a little bit of uh, geometric editing and basic uh, border edge extrusion and it's pretty simp a simple process so um, you'll see that I'm gonna you know merge the roof pieces, merge the body, verts again um, and we'll go ahead and move the roof here a little bit. Just make sure I center the pivot, freeze the transformations, and uh, clear the history on it there. And we're going to duplicate uh, some some of the bottom faces here so that we can basically make our uh, our metal piece that we need. And as you can see, I uh, center the pivot, freeze the transformations, and uh, delete the history there on that. And we'll go ahead and delete the bottom part of the faces there, since they're gonna, you know, pretty much match anyway. So there's really no sense to to go ahead and do it twice. Um, as you can see, I'm just simply extruding the uh, the faces out for the metal piece here. And go ahead, and we're gonna add a couple edge loops so that it, you know, same as usual, just retains its shape and so that it will hold, it, hold its shape whenever we go to actually smooth the model. And I want it to be somewhat of a hard edge. Um, I don't really want to bevel the edge because if I bevel the edge it's it's probably going to give us some weird shadowing whenever we go to render. Um, so I really just, you know, I'm trying to keep a a very hard edge there. And we'll go ahead and duplicate these top faces here you know and it's just you know one thing leads into another thing and, and another thing and another thing and then you eventually you just you know get to the point where you know it's a pretty detailed uh, car even with these you know small pieces it sort of you know gives the illusion that it's a an extremely high detailed car um, but it's it's not necessarily that high detailed. Um, if you really want to see a high detailed car, I mean, I would say you know go to Google and, and you know search for something like high poly cars, and you'll see cars that are like incredibly detailed. And, and we're sort of just like going to be giving an illusion of a, an extremely high detailed car, um, but it's not going to be a 100% detailed car. Uh, it'll be close, but in the end it'll be you know really good and really something that you know you should be proud of and we'll go ahead and add the edge loops here for the rubber grommet on the bottom here and and this is just mainly to you know make sure it's going to retain its shape and, and hold its shape whenever we go to smooth the model and that's you know that's looking pretty good and basically there is the the roof of our car and we just need to go ahead and add the thickness for the for the main top part of the car make sure I convert these to a smooth mesh and then just keep it on division one so that it, you know pretty much is uh, going to retain its shape since we won't be really you know making any more edits to those I can get away with that smooth mesh polygon conversion and we'll just extrude the edge on the uh, the main top part of the roof, and it's in and up, so that it, you know has some thickness, and so that it's you know not going to leave us with any light casting shadows, or so that the uh, the model is you know pretty much light complete. It's not going to you know have any holes in the geometry where light's going to cast through. And basically, there is the roof of our car. Um, very simple process and you know you can get stuff done fairly quickly.